morning, everyone. And a big welcome to being here. I am always feeling very, very privileged at this moment that I have the chance of meeting new people where 20 years ago, Jeff and me knew everyone. Now I know a lot of faces because we have uh, members, course directors that go right back to 2004 to Fernhill where we taught first. But there's also a lot of people I don't know except for emails. And it is wonderful for me to put faces to names. And then there are some of you who I don't know at all, not even through emails, which is actually quite useful because usually emails I have to solve something and it means you had nothing that I had to solve, which is good. <laughs> um, so, in the welcome, I would like to include, first of all, and where is she? Jenny. Jenny, please come here. <laughs> Jenny is my angel, I think. Uh, she looks after the office. She looks after this conference, got it all organized. She is always there, always finds solutions, and I don't know what I would do without her. <laughs> um, and thank you. And, and with that, I need to mention Bill, her husband. I'm not giving you any flowers. <laughs> <laughs> but without Bill supporting Jenny in the way he's doing, the, I don't think you've had any sleep in the last months at least, because Jenny always worries and Bill always says, look, calm down. <laughs> but without that working together and him coming in, at weekends to the office, putting, painting things or, you know, doing things that have gone wrong. I really, really, really appreciate that. And thank you, Bill, and you too as a team. However, there's Jenny, who is responsible for all the people in the office and everyone else, and the person who is here today who is supporting her is Matt, and most of you will know Matt as the supporter <laughs> of carers because he's our magician with IT. And I'm very, very grateful for he, he's still working out there. So thank you. Oh, yeah. And he's available tonight between five and seven for those who have carers' problems or who have brought their laptops to do things with him and have solutions. Uh, we have also got this new system where he, with your permission, can actually get into your laptop to see what is happening. However, you only have half an hour of his time to do that because otherwise he spends all his time with, yeah. So that's Matt and yeah. your team and thank you, Jenny. The next person I need to give a really big thank you to is Evelyn. <laughs> Evelyn is really my right hand. As you know, she goes right back to our very first trainings and so on, and a long history together and she is a real support and as far as the conference is concerned, she organized the workshops, uh, the speakers for the workshops. Mm. So, thank you. 
Also, I want to officially thank Jeff, because without Jeff, we wouldn't professionally be where we are. The record management system, everything to do with the register, PSA, you name it, he's brought the profession up to standards where we are far ahead of anything else. And I need to really thank him also for the support he gives me uh, when I'm up at four o'clock in the morning and he said, no, I want to sleep, which he's quite entitled to. Um, and he's my real rock. And without him, I couldn't do what I'm doing. I wanted to also thank the venue for working together with uh, Jenny so that we can all be here and everything runs all right. And I hope you will have a great day doing this. Then I would like to um, introduce our keynote speakers, Janet and Francis. I would like to... Um, welcome our 11 workshop presenters for this afternoon. As I'm already two minutes over where I should be, I will not name you individually because you're all named. Um, then our guests, Fraser Brown, Professor Fraser Brown, who is our link tutor to uh, Leeds Beckett University. So if you want to talk to him about MAs, PhDs or so, or anything. He's the man here in front. Um, we then have the two people who are not here yet, whom I should welcome. And this is the chair and the vice chair of PT. It is the first time that we this year attended their conference and they're coming, well, we're supposed to be here for this conference. I hope they will come. Uh, soon, probably held up in traffic and not knowing the way to Windsor. But anyway, welcome to them when they are going to be here. I would also like to welcome Lorna, who is the chair of the British Council for Therapeutic Interventions with Children in the striped black and white. So if you want to talk to her, she audits and keeps a very close eye on Jeff and me that there's no conflict of interest, uh, the council passes competencies or anything that is innovative, it has to go through the council. Then we have Warren, who is our journalist. He is the most wonderful person to do with words and imagination uh, and writes brilliant things. So thank you, Warren. Then we have Matthew, who is at the back there and who is doing the videoing, as he always does, of all our um, conferences. And thank you, Matthew. We have also attendees, 17 from different countries, because, as you know, PTUK has the international branch to it. So we have two people from Croatia, Germany, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Ireland, uh, Kenya. Now, where is Helen? Because Helen is together with Tiffany, the editor of The Playful Life. And so you will have seen that she has just got married, but she has come over here from Kenya you're, she's going back to Kenya, but they have managed the journal with all the time differences and so on. And thank you both, Tiffany and Helen, for that. And while I'm talking about Tiffany, Tiffany, you will also see, has a table next door because she organizes also all the peer group meetings. And there's a number of areas in the UK where we haven't got peer groups. So please go to her, try and organize something, because it's really important that you work as part of a team and don't feel so isolated. 
it's also very good because some people have too much to do, others have not, you can you know, do all that. So we also have Malta, Singapore, three people from South Africa uh, who are going to be course directors and we went to see um, South African course started with Evelyn, wherever she's gone, uh, there uh, last year. So that's wonderful. We have USA and Western Australia. And so thank you very, very much for your loyalty and coming uh, to be here. We have also our valuable MA team, Stephanie, whom you will have met at the reception. She's the course director and program director, and we have two of the MA supervisors here whom you can also meet. Um, then I welcome all our uh, course directors and assistant course directors, of which we have 39 now all over the world. When you remember, Jeff and me did this all by ourselves a long time ago. So it is wonderful to have you all here, and I'm very, very grateful for all the work you do in training and bringing the play therapy profession to light in various parts of the country, and above all, that we can give the children this service at the high standard. I have the great pleasure in handing out this year and announcing the recipient of the Play Therapy International Award for outstanding contributions made to the play therapy profession. And this year, this award is going to somebody who overseas has made the most fantastic difference in their country. And I witnessed this when we went um, in October, I think, uh, to their conference. I haven't got time to sing all her praises to show the wonderful videos that she has with all the work she does. So, Ellis, please come here. I wish we had time to show you in picture the wonderful work she does, but the conference, which was a great honor to us, um, is up on our YouTube on the website, so you can have a look at that. And she has shown me last night wonderful pictures because they're also working with the elderly and uh, you name it, they're doing it together with the government. Yeah. And I also want you to uh, have connections with Francis so that you can talk about all that. <laughs> Congratulations. I don't want to do anything long. All I want to do is highlight very quickly the achievements of P2K from this year. So, there are our accomplishments. We have increased our registrants from 1,790 last year at the conference to 2,074, so we are now over 2,000. And that includes a 9% attrition rate because, as you know, we revalidate once a year and people retire or become non-practicing members. So if you add that 9% attrition rate, anyway, we are well over 2,000 now and hope that will increase. We have a record number of trainees this year at the summer school. As you know, the summer school is our international value where the seeds are sown for expansion in the world. And last year, we had 62 certificate and diploma students there from 19 countries, including countries like the Lebanon. And, uh, you know, and for me, it's really, really exciting to have all these different cultures together and see that plethora actually works. And so I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, we have been part 
of the consultation on the Green Paper, Transforming Children's Mental Health, and other lobbying to try to achieve the following. Only those on a PSA accredited play therapy or child psychotherapy register or registered with the HCPC should work therapeutically with children. We are very, very concerned that so many people call themselves play therapists or work therapeutically with children without any clinical supervision with having a three days or online course or whatever and that needs to stop. So we have, we need all of you to bring that message across, but we are trying to get this going at government level. We are still holding our breath if these suggestions have been actually included in the green paper. We'll see. Uh, the support by the PSA for our work on building an evidence base for therapeutic interventions with children is without parallel. This was noted as an achievement by the PSA in our accreditation, which we've re-accreditation this year, which we've just gone through. Also, other leading figures in the counseling world described it, the record management system carers, not only as innovative, but also inspiring. Our thanks to all of you who are contributing to carers with your data. Thank you for that. One of our objectives this year is that we get 90% of our registrants to convert from the Excel version to the new carers. It's a challenge, <coughs> and for me, the challenge is to get Jeff away from the computer because he wants to add something else, because somebody else has said, uh, you know, it would be good to have this. And, but the excellent news is that if you use the uh, access carers, any updates you get will not affect the uh, data that you've got already. And at the end of June, I hope, <laughs> <laughs> which has been postponed from May because of what he's trying to do. The main thing that will change and I think will be wonderful for all of us is that CARES scores itself. No more overlays, no more necessary buying in that you, somebody can score it for you. It will do it all itself. So that is taking him has taken him, is still taking him ages because each form is different for the parents and so on. And the new uh, Goodman scales and externalization and internalization, which we can, and you know, all this sort of stuff will arrive hopefully at the end of June. And you will get all the instructions with it. But your data that you have already entered hopefully will not be affected. And of course, you know, there's CARES training going on uh, for those who need it, want it, and that's been very successful. And I'm very, very pleased that we have a number of course directors who are doing this all over the country. The revalidation with the PSA this year was without any conditions, and we were, the PSA decided to redo their whole accreditation system. And as we were the first to start it all off, with five other organizations. We were the second organization now to use that new system and give feedback on. The PSA have recommended that the British Council remit should include scrutiny of PTUK's assessment of risk to provide an independent perspective and to ensure specific risks relevant to the occupation of play therapists on the register are considered. This is an assignment that we welcome because it gives us the opportunity to become more professional in this area and also to change the way PSA looks at risk. So we are looking forward to an exciting year and thanking you all for your support and your contributions. Thank you. I'm worried because I'm well within my time. 
And I'm wondering if I've forgotten something. I don't think so, yeah. Okay, now a surprise. Last year, or if you've been to last year's conference, or to Santiago de Compostela, which was our international conference last year, you will have experience that we gave a commission to a wonderful musician to compose a piece, and he did that on um, his guitar, and you will have heard the music when you came in, um, to show in music the therapeutic journey of a child. Because we have music and clay and art and all this in our kit, I was very keen and I am very keen to show that artistically there can be a representation of these various um, media that can be transformed into this journey. So this year, <laughs> we have got as a commission, um, I went to an exhibition, let's start it back. I went into an exhibition where I saw the work of Pascal Pierre, who has finally had the commission and installed that. He uses wood and I, in various ways of installations, and when I read up what he was saying about his work, he was trying to express balance, energy, movement, interconnections with people in, of nature. He was saying that wood stores a lot of memories and that wood, when he creates something, tells him what he should create. He doesn't impose his um, ideas. And each part of the installation is unique in shape, color, there are hollows, and so the installation is made up of individual, really important parts. Anyway, I thought this sounded good, and maybe he could, uh, I could find him and talk to him how this could happen in, for our purposes. Anyway, little did I know, uh, I don't like doing things like that to, through galleries, so I tried to find this guy. It took me six weeks to find that he lives in New Mexico. Okay. Uh, I then finally found him and Skyped with him and said da 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 da, and this is what we want, and he sort of said, I've never done anything like that before. And so about a week long of discussions and so on, he finally said, yes, I will take that challenge. And so that is what he has done, using wood as a metaphor for our child and the children and their experience. So I would like you to engage with the installation in the next, well, four minutes and have an intimate dialogue with it and see or give the image your own meaning. And Pascal would say, feel the wind and trust that it will take you where you need to be. So if I'm correct, do this.
so if you remember the music experience, it's very different, isn't it? Anyway, I won't say anything. Before I have the pleasure to introduce our keynote speakers, and I'm one minute late, so I'm very pleased about that. Never in 20 years have I mentioned that. I would like to start with um, a quote that Jeff, you know, he keeps on throwing in things like that, and um, our sort of dinner time is often um, spent with him saying, oh, you know, I've, I found a really good, anyway, here we are. Knowing is knowing, a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it into the fruit salad. <laughs> So, when we were talking about carers and the knowledge we derive of that, and which will ho hopefully turn into wisdom for our practice, I would like to turn now to our first keynote speaker and hope that the knowledge and wisdom that Janet can give us will... We're going to wait a minute. Thank you. Okay, so I will. Um, so I would like to introduce Janet. She will talk about herself in a minute. I just want to say that she's a very long standing supporter of PTI and in our first World Congress, which was 2004 in Chichester, where Violet Oaklander was our keynote speaker, Janet was there with her husband, Bob, and she has been at various conferences, always really introducing th something interesting. And she is now one of the most important leaders from practice point of view in touch, and she will be talking of Francis will be, who is another world specialist on the subject, and they have known each other, but met for the first time yesterday. Uh, so, Janet, thank you, and please. Thank you. 